Hello everybody, welcome back to No Man's Land. There is a ton of stuff to do. That's why it's still January. It, January 10.30 in the morning, I really can't throw away the rest of this day. Um, we've got a ton of stuff to do. We need to get our new field uh, plowed. We need to get our current field reseeded so that we have enough food for our chickens. Uh, and, uh, we also, uh, need to pick up the straw so that we can do all of those other things. So the first thing I want to do this morning is I want to buy a loading wagon because I have no intention of dealing with bales in this playthrough. Bales are great for a lot of things. Uh, if I'm running cows, I usually like to have bales because you can just, uh, leave a big pile of bales in the feeding area and <laughs> feed your cows for several months. Uh, sheep, same way. Just leave bales in the loading area. You're good to go. Uh, but I, they are very time and labor intensive to uh, to collect. So I think what I'm going to do is buy a loading wagon that we'll be able to use for both straw and grass whenever we start uh, needing grass. I think we're going to do, in addition to mayonnaise, we're going to do either clothes or donuts. One of the two. I think maybe donuts. Donuts are a little faster to get going and... Um, they, they just produce a little faster, so we'll get to our goal of $10 million before FS25 comes out. Uh, so first thing, let's buy a loading wagon. And because this is a fun playthrough and not a realistic playthrough or any sort of challenge, we're going to go straight to the Misty Cat mod. I'm not going to buy the biggest one. I don't think we'll ever need $2.4 million, but uh, we might need 500000 so I'm gonna buy that. I don't know why it starts in that baby blue color, but we're gonna go with jet black. Always appropriate. Looks good. 500,000 liters, 102,000. We're gonna buy it. And that takes most of our money, which is fine. Uh, we will have more money coming in overnight. But today, we've still got the cedar. we still got um, time. So we're going to get this done now. If you've been watching this channel very long, you've probably seen this mod before. This is one of my favorites of all the unrealistic mods. And I'm just going to go ahead. I have two mods going on here. First is obviously the Misty Cat loading wagon, but also, I'm turn on my help menu here. Uh, you can see here it says the current capacity is 500,000 liters. I'm going to hit K. And oh, look, it's now 750,000 liters. Uh, it's a mod that increases the capacity of your loading wagon. And if you like to play in an unrealistic way sometimes, that's a very handy thing to have. And don't get me wrong, I like the challenges. I like having rules that kind of sets the, sets the boundaries and makes the game more structured, I think, and gives you a goal. But I also like to just play. So we're going to do four of these windrows at a time. <laughs> that Rostel mash makes really narrow windrows. But it's okay. Or I guess it's a swath. It's not a windrow. Because it was dropped. And not blown together.
I know it's an unfair comparison, but compare that to baling straw and picking up the bales and then storing them. Uh, th there is no comparison, and unless you just like baling straw, there is no, no other way to pick up your straw. This is the best way. Now, um, we have a choice here. I think, well, I, I always do silage from straw. And, you know, I know this is not a realistic playthrough, but that's completely unrealistic. Um, there is no such thing as straw silage in real life. That's just a farm sim thing. Uh, and, you know, while I do it all the time because the game allows it, I think I'm going to get away from that this time. And I think we're going to hold on to our straw until we can afford to build the straw production, the one that builds uh, hats and straw baskets. And then we're going to just start dumping our straw in there and auto selling whatever it makes. So that's just another source of income every month and a place to uh, deposit all of our <laughs> otherwise unwanted straw. So, you know, it'll be kind of like uh, pig food. Uh, when this production across the road makes oil, it also makes pig food. And we'll be selling some of that later because it's uh, it's very profitable. <laughs> and it's just a byproduct. So uh, that'll work out great. Um, but anyway, we're going to we're going to store our straw until such time as we need it again. Um, so we're going to hold on to this for right now. We're going to leave it right there. Uh, we need some more money. I want to replace that silo right there, but uh, I don't have the money to do it right now. The The silo I'm going to put in costs 30 grand and we only have 20. So uh, I suppose I could sell the, the, um, the pig food. Yeah, let's go ahead and sell the pig food. We don't have a flatbed trailer, and I, I don't know that there's actually any place to sell pig food on this map. Let's see. Yeah, no sell point for pig food. No sell point for mayonnaise either, but we're going to put in a uh, sell everything, which would also take the pig food. Uh, the, uh, the sell point for mayonnaise that comes with the mod is... <laughs> it's... Uh, it's kind of cheaty. It, 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 the price can get over fifty thousand uh, dollars for a uh, thousand liters of mayonnaise, uh, and that just that ain't happening. So we're gonna go with the uh, with the sell everything, and it gives a more realistic price, kind of like the max price right there. This twenty five five for mayonnaise. That the sell everything will be similar to that. Um, but right now we have seventy six thousand dollars in pig food. I don't know how much it's going to deduct because we're auto selling it. So that'll be an interesting thing to see. Uh, let's see. We're going to set that to selling. And right now it says 76481. 76481. So when we get to the top of the hour, we'll see what it's selling for or what we get. I didn't say what we got. Well, we had 20. We got 73. Okay. So we lost three grand by auto selling. That ain't bad. That ain't bad at all. So now we have the money to put in our new silo. So let's go ahead and do that. Do, do, do. These are great silos. There's no way we're ever going to fill them up or it up. And I think mean, I'm going to go with red. Snazzy. And you'll be able to see that for miles. And we're going to put it right there because it was almost like that was made for it. Okay. So now let's move our sorghum real quick. Uh, I'm going to move this sorghum real quick, and then we are going to uh, mark out and plow our new field. All right, real quick before we plow, 
we are going to get rid of this old silo. Zero dollars. Yes. Goodbye. All right. And now we have a much nicer, clear shot back into that field. So that's a much better location for that. It's almost as if that little cutout right there was made for a new silo. Huh. Okay, so let's plow. All right. So this is going to be kind of a funky shaped field. I want to make sure that we stay within our boundaries. Get lined up straight across at 270 degrees. There we go. Let's see. We'll make sure we can come back to this. Yeah. Actually, I'm going to start about halfway through. Because I want this to be more of an organically shaped field. I don't want a square field, which I normally have. I really like the square corners. I think it's better for the workers and everything. But this there's so many rocks and trees out here that it's we would waste a lot of land if we didn't do something that was a little more organically shaped. So we're going to go, uh, we can still keep it lined up in the, in the cardinal directions. Um, it just may not be a rectangular shape. Uh, and it'll, it'll take a little bit longer to harvest, but not too bad. Okay, so let's get started. Here we go. I am going to set up delete objects and I'm just going to go through our, our area here and delete all these little matchstick trees. There, there's one tree out there that I think is going to have to go that's of, of any size at all. So that's kind of a waste. But these little match, matchsticks, they're, they don't. They have no value. Well, they have no monetary value in the game. Everything has value of some sort. All right, I believe I got rid of all those pesky little trees that were in the way. And I'm pretty sure I'm going to curse my own name when I start harvesting this. <laughs> Because I'm getting pretty close to these trees, and that makes things a little more difficult. So we're right on our property line. And we're right at 360 degrees. So we do have a pretty straight edge here. We may end up with just that one corner being kind of funky. This is going to be a big field. We are going to have an influx of canola. And then at some point... If we start the donut production, actually, I was going to do a curve, wasn't I? Well, I didn't. <laughs> I'll do a curve over there. But when we start up the donut production, 
then probably what we'll do is we'll end up swapping over our open air garden to sugar beets so that we can make sugar without actually having to plant and grow and harvest sugar beets. And um, then we'll plant a big field of sunflowers as well. I'd really rather grow as much of the seed materials as I can. You know, the canola and the and the sunflowers. All right, that's enough space. Grow them in a field, I mean, as opposed to our open gardens. They're actually growing in there, too, I suppose. Okay, we need to be at 180. All right, so this edge will be the really curvy edge. All right, I'm taking out these two trees. If we're going to plant the whole field, let's plant as much of the whole field as we can. So we'll curve down into here. And then we'll curve this way. And then I think I'm going to start from my other line here. And there we have it. You can see the outline of our new field. It's big. It's real big. And then we'll probably end up doing the same thing either here or here. Here is probably easier, but it's probably a little more steep. Over here, we've got some more trees, so we may have to have Tree Island in the middle of the field because I really don't want to do any logging. I guess I could just off camera make them all disappear. That's that's something. And I don't want to cut down the sign that makes them all disappear because the trees are pretty. <laughs> they, they, they make the map alive. So I want to keep the trees. But. So anyway.
All right, that is a big field. <laughs> We're going to have a lot of canola. All right, this is the end of our January. We really have nothing else to do. So what we're gonna do before we sleep is we are going to return this cedar because we are gonna sleep and hopefully overnight, we will make enough money to buy a cedar that is twice that big and get our canola planted very, very quickly. Whoa. Yep, I'm having that thing. And I don't know what it is. This time it's the truck, but it's never... It's never consistent. Sometimes it's a trailer, sometimes it's a truck, sometimes it's a uh, Unimog. I just don't know. We'll see if it's still there in the morning. Well, let's see. Yep, still there. All right, I may have to move the truck. I'm going to move the truck way over here so I don't have to pass it to get to it. We hardly ever use the truck, but I wouldn't mind having it there so I could quickly get back to the house if I need to. So, anyway. Now, overnight, we made... Yeah, not not great, but not terrible. Do we still have water in everything? Yeah, we still got plenty of water there. Plenty of water there. Plenty of water there. So I have to assume that these other two also have plenty of water. Yep. And now surely this thing. Yeah, it's starting to go down now. It's 235. So we'll go another month and then we'll refill it. Okay, so the next thing we need to do is get our fields planted. And to do that, we are going to, well, first let's look in the sale and make sure that there's nothing in the sale that we can use. Yep, there's our 9DC, but that's just the regular version. That's not the multi-fruit like we had. All right, nothing there for us, so we're going to go straight to what we know we want. And it's this guy right here. The Kinsey 4905 Multifruit Planter. Unrealistic, of course. Uh, it's got an unrealistic tank capacity. Uh, it plants everything. Anything you could possibly want to plant, including potatoes, sugar cane, and poplar. So, and it fertilizes and seeds at the same time. And all for the low, low price of $153,300, which we are going to gladly pay. Make sure we have everything there that we need. I think it's, it's fine just the way it comes. Yep, buy it. All right, and one thing I didn't look at, which I probably should have, was our medium tractor here, 225. So that says it needs 250. Hmm, I believe it said 250. Yes, yes, it says 250. So uh, we are going to jump in our Massey Ferguson and we are going to hope. So I need everybody to cross your fingers, say a little prayer. Although we may have some pig food we can sell if we need to. Oh, I don't know, can I upgrade this tractor? Engine set up. What can we go to? 280. For $27,500. Hmm. Let's see. What you got for us, pig food? Ooh, no pig food. That's no good. We're just going to have to go with it for a little bit. Because even if we fast forward time to sell some flowers and, and mushrooms, I think it's... 
it's going to take a while, so... All right, well, we need 27 grand, so as soon as we get to 28 grand, we need 27 and some change, so... As soon as we get to 28 grand, we will stop whatever we're doing, and we will upgrade. Oh, I didn't look at straw. How much is straw worth? And how much do we have? Straw is worth 307. And we're going to sell our straw. Don't worry, we'll make more. And we don't have a straw production to put it in yet, so we're going to go ahead and sell it. Right, not quite as much as I thought so that didn't get us quite as far as I thought it would but we're still pretty close so we're gonna go ahead and get started we're getting close to the top of the hour we'll see how much money we make when the clock turns over and we are planting Enola All right, not bad. Of course, we're going downhill. We'll see what happens when we come up the other side. And even at 289 horsepower, this is not going to be fast. The tractor is still going to be the weak spot, the bottleneck. Yeah, it doesn't like this hill. But it's still going. And I don't even have to speed up this planter. It comes with a speed limit of 49 miles an hour. <laughs> <laughs> and sometimes just saying those things out loud sounds ridiculous. You know, I planted a field of canola at 49 miles per hour. <laughs> but it's still fun to do it in a game. Even if you can't do it in real life. In fact, that's one of the nicest things about games is that allows you to do things that you can't do in real life. So yeah, we're getting this headland knocked out pretty quick, huh? Even kind of uphill. Yeah, I don't hate this. 10 miles an hour, I'm okay with that. And to be honest, I would rather take that $27,000 
wait until I can add 300 to it. <laughs> and buy the Fent 1024. Sorry, I'm not talking. I'm focusing on these turns. Well, that went pretty well. I thought sure I was going to hit a tree at some point. Oh, spoke too soon. Missed a spot. <laughs> Story of my life. Alright, so I'm going to continue straight up this way. And then we're going to turn around and let a worker do. I think I'm going to go over to this side. I'm going to be left with some bits out on the end that I'm going to have to deal with at some point. That's okay. But I'm going to get over here as far as I can. And I want to make sure that the left part of my planter here is going to have something to do all the way to the end of this row. So, let me line myself up here. Alright, now we're at 180. We'll back up and we'll let the worker go.
Well, it looks like it's time for me to intervene. The worker has decided that the best course of action is to back down the field. So we're going to take over now and finish up the rest of this. Boy, the Massey Ferguson did great. I am really impressed. And I'm very glad that we were not able to get the money before we started planting this field. I would have spent that 27000 to upgrade this tractor, and we didn't need to. And we have a seeded canola field. So I'm going to see what Bud wants. And then I'm going to seed that other field off camera. And then I'll come back and uh, we'll talk about what comes next. I didn't think you would want to see me seed this other field. Uh, fun fact, seeding sorghum looks exactly like seeding canola. The more you know. All right, so we have a freshly seeded canola field and a freshly seeded sorghum field. Now, the canola field is perfectly fine until it's time to harvest it. It was a grass field that we plowed under. The grass field cover crops, so when we plowed it under, we gave our field a uh, fertilizer state and then we gave it its second fertilizer state when we seeded the field. Uh, since we freshly plowed it, we won't have to worry about weeds for this first crop. Now, the sorghum field is another matter. Uh, it is, uh, this is its second crop, and uh, we didn't plow it at all. So we're going to have to worry about fertilizer and weeds. So next up on the agenda is going to be some sort of weed control, probably a sprayer. And then uh, the, uh, the new harvester, we're going to have to have that coming up in the next couple of months. So those are our next goals. Uh, but I think that's it for today. If you like this video, I sure would appreciate a thumbs up or a subscription. If you did not like this video, please post a comment and tell me why. Either way, thanks for being here. I'll see you next time.